How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and Apple has finally released iOS 18 Public Beta, which is a very anticipated version because it's a more stable, solid, and has much less problems compared to iOS 18 Developer Beta. So we've all been waiting for this and in this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can install it right now on your iPhone for free and of course, the official Apple method. So. Without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so the first step is to actually open up your settings and back up your iPhone while you're still in iOS 17 before you update to iOS 18 public beta, okay? You can back up to iCloud, so tap on your top banner, iCloud, and then iCloud backup, look it up, right? And then you go ahead and back up now. So either through your iCloud or a computer backup. So it's up to you how you wanna back up your iPhone, but the important thing is back it up. If you don't know how to perform an iCloud backup or a computer backup, you can go ahead and tap on this card right here or link in the description. I have a step-by-step -step video teaching you how to exactly do this. So it's super important to back up your iPhone while still in iOS 17 because even though, as I said, iOS 18 public beta is a more stable, more solid compared to the developer beta, but it's still a beta version. So even though Apple worked a lot on iOS 18 public beta, it took them over a month to perfect it in order to release it to the public, right? Because this is a public version, but still it's a beta. It's not yet the final version, which will be released in September. So that's something to keep in mind. So back it up, I can't stress this enough. So after your backup, you can go ahead, open up Safari and go to this website, beta.apple.com, as easy as that. And you're gonna come to the Apple Beta Software Program. Of course, I'm gonna have this link in the description as well. So then that we are in the Apple Beta Program, we can already go ahead, scroll down just a bit and sign up. So tap on sign up right here. Then it's gonna ask for you to go ahead and sign in with your Apple ID. It's extremely important that you sign in with the very same Apple ID that you have on your iPhone, that you have signed in on your iPhone, all right? Because it's so common that we have multiple Apple IDs and if you use here the wrong one, you're just gonna sign up with the wrong account, right? So make sure you're signing in with the same Apple ID that's already signed in on your iPhone, on the device itself, right? So tap on sign in. I'm gonna use face ID here. Uh, maybe on yours you will need to type in the password manually, but it's the exact same thing. Then you'll see the agreement. So it's your typical terms and conditions that we're used to. So you can go ahead and scroll down. You can actually have a look at it if you want to. But as I said, it's your typical standard terms and conditions. You can go ahead and agree. After that, we're gonna come to the guide for beta software. We're almost done, okay? So scroll down, just a bit down until you see get started and then enroll your iOS device. So first we sign in to the program and then we enroll the iPhone itself, right? So then enroll your iOS device and then it's just gonna load, right? And then we're gonna scroll down just a bit more and then open beta updates and then that's it. So tap on open beta updates. It's gonna open up your iPhone settings as you can see and already you're good to go. As you can see, I've got here iOS 18 developer beta and that's because I was already running the developer beta, but as you can see, we now have public beta. So the public beta is right here. So in your case, maybe you won't even see the developer beta, no problem at all. All you have to do is tap on public beta, tap on it, just to make sure you're getting the public beta, right? And then come back and then right here we've got iOS 18 beta, that's the public beta. That's it, that's the version that we want. And then guys, that's literally it. All you have to do now is tap on update now and then it's your typical update process. It's your typical over the air software update. Make sure you do the process connected to Wi-Fi. It's just gonna give you a much more stable connection and also while plugged in, while charging your iPhone. And then of course, go ahead, tap on update now and then in a few minutes, you have your iPhone running iOS 18 public beta, super stable, very, very nice. So that's it, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video as usual guys, bye bye.